Hey guys, what's up? It's Rachel and welcome back to day two of my week in the life vlogs that I'm doing. So today we have a few things planned. First of all, I'm actually about to print out shipping labels to send out the things that sold. So I'll just really quickly, since I'm not doing a what sold video this week, I'll just kind of sprinkle my sales in throughout the week. But the first thing that sold was actually this uh, wet seal jacket. I'll insert a photo since you can't really tell much about it from here. But this was actually free inventory from my cousin and I think it sold for 22 or something. So I'll have the exact number on the screen. Then I also sold this uh, Disney Lilo and Stitch Stitch a uh, graphic t-shirt it only sold for ten dollars but that's usually what i expect for a disney item and i got it at the bins super lightweight and sold in less than a week so i just thought that was a really cute find then the third thing that we're shipping out today is this lips novelty crossbody bag and i found this and just thought it was really funny and it kind of gave me like a betsy johnson type vibe because she does a lot of novelty items and it sold for uh, $20 and I made $16, so I definitely was in the profit on this one as well. And my sales have been pretty slow since I got back from my vacation. I've just noticed that usually when I come back from vacation and being inactive for a week on my closet, it just kind of slows down a little bit, which sucks, but I know it'll pick back up again and be totally fine at the end of the day. But this morning, my grandma, who I live with, I live with my grandmother and my dad, and she actually went through her closet and found me a stack of jackets that she doesn't want anymore, and then also three pairs of shoes. So not only that, but my aunt, as I mentioned yesterday, my aunt gave me two big trash bags of free inventory, and that is the third trash bag she's given me in the past week, because she just... I don't want to say she's a hoarder, but she loves to shop and so I guess it's just that time of year where everyone wants to go through all of their clothes. So I'm not complaining. I love free inventory. So I'm going to show you those jackets and the shoes and then we're also going to go through those two big trash bags that I got and I'm going to show you guys what's inside of them. Okay, so orders are packaged and I actually fashioned myself this little shipping station. I have three of these IKEA tubs that I use and I talk about a lot. Then I just have my poly mailers and my tape and it actually makes a really sturdy little workspace for me and I'm so glad that I did that because it has been a lifesaver. So those are the two big ones we're gonna go through, but real quick, I wanted to show you guys the jacket she gave me. Just like with my aunt, um, my grandma goes specifically for style and not brand. So some of these are going to be more bread and butter, but there are some really great styles in here. This is Isabel Gerhardt, which I don't have any experience with, so I'm definitely going to be researching it. But it's just so beautiful, and she never wore it. And so I have a feeling that this one's going to be a really good um, eBay piece. Then uh, this is just uh, Kathy Daniels, but I really like the color of this. I like the plaid and it just seems very seasonally appropriate for this time of year. So I really like that one. This one is just Croft in Borrow, but again, she never wore it. it, has this really cool detail, and it's actually a poncho. So, again, really great color and great for this time of year. This is another brand I don't have any experience with, so I will be doing some research, but it's just kind of this knit jacket. It has a zipper and just really great condition. And this one is New York and Company, and it's actually um, new with tags, and it is the softest thing. It's also an extra large, which is awesome. It's just so, so soft, and would be perfect for someone who lives in a much colder climate. So this one is just Croft and Borrow again, but it has this cool, like, quilted style, and then, like, this ribbed contrast to it, and again, really great condition. 
And then um, she actually gave me three pairs of shoes, all of which are Skechers. That is the only brand she will wear because they are just the most comfortable for her. So a lot of these are actually new. Like, she never wore them. She collects them and then doesn't wear them for whatever reason. So this is just a pair of bobs. It has, like, this mesh, um, like, sequined design. And I just thought those were really cute. And then these are more of a... Mary Jane like kind of more basic style and they have the memory foam really great condition and then she said these were brand new and she never actually wore them and they're just this multicolor like speckled and she's given me sketchers in the past and they've sold really really well so I'm always really excited to get sketchers especially since as I said she doesn't always wear them so they're always in really great condition and sell for I've sold one for like 30 and then 25 usually is around what I'll get for them so super excited about those So this one is Land's End, um, which is a brand I don't pick up very often, but this is such a nice jacket. It's kind of a corduroy and has this beautiful brown color, which is a great color for, you know, just everyday wear. And it has this really cool plaid on the inside. So really happy about that one. And also that J. Crew one. I'm happy about everything, don't get me wrong, but I just wanted to show you guys a few of my favorites so and this is just a pair of calvin klein another brand i don't pick up very often but it's just a gray slack and it has these black polka dots and she's actually a first grade teacher so she wears a lot of career style pieces which i do pretty well with career style pieces so i love getting things like this they just do really well for me on ebay the next one I want to show you guys is this striped jacket and it's actually um, Puma which again does really good for me on eBay but it's just nice and good condition, clean and really happy to get that and it also has this cute elbow pad I just noticed that. Okay I love that piece. So everything is out of the bag now. And this is what the stack looks like. These are some leftovers from the last time, so I still have these to list. And then this just needs to be sweater shaved, and that needs to be lint rolled. But there are 42 items in here, I think, when I counted. Um, so that is super awesome. I'm going to be picking out 20 pieces to list today. It is Saturday, and I'm about 20 items-ish away from hitting that 70 listing goal that I have for myself this week. So... We're gonna choose 20. I'm definitely gonna be listing all of these that my grandma gave me, but I think I'm primarily gonna focus on jackets and long sleeve shirts today. So if I come across something that I forgot to show you guys, I will do that. So, I 
look like a hot mess, but I feel amazing. I'm so glad I did that. I think I needed it more than I realized. So now I'm just going to go home and list the items that I took photos of earlier. And then my boyfriend actually gets off of work early today, so we're going to go to Olive Garden and have a little date night and then go home and finish You Season 2 on Netflix because it's amazing. <laughs> So I'm going to end today's vlog here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really, truly appreciate it. And I will see you guys tomorrow in my next video. Bye, guys.